The day has arrived. Mike Pettin is out in Green Bay. He has lost his job. His, his contract has expired, and the Packers will not be bringing him back. Big B, uh, what are your first thoughts on this big news here? Freaking finally. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, it's a good day. I think, you know, literally before this championship game, I was thinking – Mike Pettum might have saved his job just with his past few weeks' performance, but there were so many plays where you're like, dude, that cannot, that can simply not happen in the NFC Championship game. Uh, you know, you have uh, a Kevin Keane touchdown, uh, Tom Brady drawing over you with ease on that first drive. So many times. They're, the interceptions, I mean, I'm not going to give Mike Patton any credit for Jagger Alexander. For Tom Brady throwing at Jagger Alexander, I'm not going to give Mike Patton credit for his great scheming on those interceptions. We'll get to a few candidates later. Um, as far as what this means, it's going to be interesting because uh, I, I mentioned earlier this morning on my Twitter that if Mike Patton does end up getting fired, which he did, uh, you know, obviously, uh, it's a little diff- bit different because you already have that talent there. You don't have to, even if there is a learning curve, can it really get that much worse? Um, Big B, how do you think, uh, so what learning curve do you think could be presented to the Packers depending on what defense coordinator they hire? And uh, how long do you think it will take them to adjust, really? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, the Packers have been running a 3-4 uh, for the past, what, 15 years with Don Capers and Mike Pettin. So as long as this new defense coordinator that they bring in or promote doesn't play their corner seven yards off on third and two, I think I'll be okay with the hire. Uh, some possible candidates to replace Mike Pettin. It's really too hard to tell at this point. Uh, I think the one thing that came down to it was that this wasn't Matt LaFleur's guy. This was a guy Mike McCarthy brought in. This was his third year with the Green Bay Packers. So I'm sure Matt LaFleur has always had a list of coaches he's wanted. Um, and I, I, it's going to be really interesting because you look at, there are some veterans out there like Wade Phillips, who everybody's going to pine for. He's going to be the favorite for, for until forever, until they hire him. He's going to be all over Twitter. I don't think he ends up getting hired. You have uh, Wisconsin defense coordinator. Is he the defense coordinator or head coach, Jim Leonard? I think he's the cornerbacks coach. Really? I, I think. I'm, don't quote me on that. Let me I check here. You. Uh, so, yeah, you got those. And then some promotions internally. I mean, we've been talking about this since uh, Mike Penn has ever been on the hot seat, was uh, Jerry Gray, the cornerbacks coach who has defense coordinator experience, uh, or Mike Smith. The linebackers coach what did you uh, find out big b is he the corners coach he is the secondaries coach and defensive coordinator oh okay. so uh, i was a little concerned was, there um, i was pretty right so yeah uh so what what would you think of those two options of not mike smith not jerry gray but uh external option of possibly wade phillips or jim leonard well wade phillips you bring in that like veteran leadership yeah. kind of guy I, I would I would like that hire um, mm-hmm. Jim Leonard I've been a fan of him for a while because you know yeah. Wisconsin yeah. boy got a mm-hmm. so that would be interesting I don't think it happens yeah but because you know I don't know how that would even work out because mm-hmm. yeah college pretty big my, difference yeah big elevation there my prediction yeah. is that my Matt Lafleur hires someone you've never heard of. Probably. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Probably probably. Uh, I've never heard of Nathaniel Hackett when we brought him in. Uh, I did hear of Mike Pettin, which is kind of odd uh, when, when we brought him in, but I, I, it's not going to be one of these popular candidates, in my opinion. What would you think of possibly promoting from within with Mike, Mike Smith or Jerry Gray? Well, Mike Smith will make you run through a brick wall, oh, yeah. um, and Jerry Gray will motivate the team as well probably not like brick wall like yeah, level exactly. but he will get the job done like so but either of those i'd be very happy with it would be exciting to get those guys 
yeah. especially Mike Smith, because I would love to see him coach the entire defense. Yes, I would love to see Mike Smith more on the sidelines. I'd love to see him on more weekly press conferences. Like, you know, Jerry Gray is kind of like your grandpa. If he tells you to mow the lawn, you're going to go mow that lawn really well. Um, exactly, exactly. That's so perfect. Uh, interesting over these next few weeks. A lot to talk about. Me and Big B will have it all whenever we're back doing our episodes. Welcome to the off season folks uh, folks thanks everybody for watching let us know your thoughts on the firing of mike Pettin, what you think uh who they should hire and that's all we got thanks for watching go pack go